Hello there, this is Abigail from the UK. Uh, and made by Abigail. Just a quick intro before I start. This is my very first video ever. I'm doing this, I can't believe I'm doing it, but I got into craft about springtime last year and I love it. I really enjoy watching people craft. My family say I'm obsessed and yes, I am addicted. <laughs> so I thought I'd get my own channel up and running to share with you. So here we are, these are cards the measle cards like that and they just fold flat so you pop in the envelope and they just pop it up to the little easel so cute and really easy to make okay then so i'll put these to the side i am from the uk as you can tell and my inspiration was this from the works, I think it was only two pound. Really good, really good stuff at the works, cheap. So we'll be using these stamps. So let's get started. I'm gonna do my stamps first, so I've got a bit of time to dry. Get some scrap some paper this is cardstock this is white whisper from um, stamping up i got it from ebay cheaper so i'll just line these up like so this is stays on jet black this is really good ink actually make sure you get them all covered nice like so. And then just stamp. Oh, I don't know if I will put them. Like so. And then I'll just get the microfiber cloth. These are really good. And just wipe my stamps. I just drop them, I think. Yes. And then I've got the donuts and do the same with them. Which one? That one. Yeah. Just do a few of them. And it comes with a little art too. Let's do one of them and show you that one. supposed to be professional quality alcohol based ink and they are too bad to say how much they was and you've got all these colours so that's really good I think so what I did is just coloured them like with this one I just coloured it like so Am I in shot? Yeah, there's my head in. And the black will come out through that. And I'll just do that black on there. And then you can make them little pretty as you can. Like so. They work quite nice actually. Fifteen pound for all these colours, you can't really uh, bundle. And I'll show you the pinky one. Then I'll just fussy cut it up, fussy cut them out. I'll use these look. Let's see, I'll just fussy cut them out like so. And the donuts too. 
Now what I did, I tried to cut the little uh, holes out, but that was like impossible. So what I had was these hole punches. And I used the big one for that one, punch that one out. And I got a pair, smaller owl for that one, and I punched that out. And it worked brilliant. Then was from eBay. I'll go find the uh, link to them now. So, we got all them done now. And we start off on the, this is the base of the card. Now, this is 11 by 4 and 5 sixteenths. I scored at two and a half and five and a half. And then I burnished my fowls. That's the only scoring that needs to be done. And then it'll uh, hold up like that. And there's the other bits and pieces. Now then. I've done the two squares, that's from a layering square die, that was from eBay. This card stock is from Obbycraft, really thick, lovely card stock. Beautiful Obbycraft, watercolour paper. The colours are gorgeous. So, now what we're doing, I'm going to round my corners off on this one, just the top two, like so, and then on this one, to fit on top, I'm going to do the two there, and that will leave a little border. Now what size is this? This is the White Whisper cardstock again. Five and three sixteenths by three and fifteen sixteenths. I hope I'm saying this all right. And then that can go there. Then I'll put my little squares on top. Like so. And I've got another cute little sentiment from the uh, thing. The pack. And I think I'll put it on this one. I used this one before, so let's see. I've got my bag. And just, that's cute. Yeah, that's fine. It's got a bit, mm -hmm. but it's fine. So that's that, that's that. Oh, I'm doing this. I should have people on me, really, shouldn't I? Now, let's get this layered. So, all I'm going to do is use some score tape. This is proper score tape, and it's really easy to use, and it rips. The red tape is supposed to be stronger, but you can't rip it. You have to cut that, so that is easy. What I tend to do is just burnish all them down. Oh god. Got some of the raggedy. There we go. And then peel all them up. Like so. Can you use your pokey too? If you have any overlanging, just pop them back in. Now let's find either about one eighth of an inch all the way around, like so. Then I'm going to put them there and I'm going to put score tape on these two. So I'm now liquid glue today. All very easy. And clean. I do get a mess with sticky glue. Let's do this one now. I love this tape. I think it was 5 dollars 99 
five forty nine from eBay. Oh, I've got the links somewhere. Yeah, score tape is crafty dash Charlie, and it was five forty nine quarter inch twenty seven yards. And you know that you just fold it back in. You can use whatever stamp sets you got to jazz it up. Anything. Just use what you've got. And that's it. So then I uh, put that on there. And the same to the one at the bottom left. Sure, it's the right way up because it's got a sentiment on it. That's it. And then I put, let's see which ones I'm going to use. I could use that one, that one, that one, and that one. It's quite hard to it backwards. These are myself adhesive square 3D ones. These are pen car and art from eBay. Brilliant, cheap, brill. 9p for a sheet, a bit like that. So now I'll just pop one there. One there. I am trying to hurry up as fast as I can because. It's my daughter on the uh, switch, as you can hear. It's got a red sit on. Just pop them on. Just to give them a bit of 3D. Like so. And then I'll just use my finger now. To arrange my uh, thing different. And same for this one. They am a bit big, eh? But. And that one can go there too. And then space these out like so. As I say, you can use whatever you've got, really. And that one there. There we go. And now. I'm doing these, I'll just put them on half of the side of it so I can have a lap it on one of the drinks. Too close, but well, I I've got to get that off anyway. You got the idea. Let's do the same with this one. Let's pop it. 
can you see? Yeah. Pop it there, like so. Now that's cute. Let's lift it up. So cute. Now for this, hold it back. And then you've got this just at the bottom. Did I say this four and three sixteenths by one and three sixteenths? Skull type again. <clears throat> I love so easy this is. on our rivet there but then you just fold it back under like so there we go fold it there and then just put it a little bit up from the bottom there and now stamp again now the stamp I'm using is this one. This was from Obicraft, one pound fifty, and it's a really nice, big, thick, strong. Happy birthday! So I'm going to stamp one at a time because they're a bit close together. Can't fit them on. So I part it up first, like so. I'll pull it up this corner in a little bit, press and done. My rag and then the birthday bit. In a little bit like that one. There we go. I'm going to have to have my camera behind me. <laughs> and then birthday make sure you got the Y on the bottom of the page in a little bit and press oh. well I can see mm. see but I've got the black here and if this happens, you can just go over. I don't know what's happened, but if it's going to happen, it's going to happen when I'm filming. <laughs> right, oh, there as well. Okay. So what I did was do a little donut mm -hmm. there, like so. Might get a wet one on there, and there we go. Two pound this coffee uh, set is rather good. Now I'll put that up. You need that on dimensions, so when you bring your card in, that's on dimensions and it'll stop it from moving that much better. So I'll get my dimensions again. Probably could do with the thicker dimensions, but this is what I've got, so this is what I'll use. And then the 
fiddly bit. Let's use that pokey tool. These, these little bits that come off get everywhere. I am just recording on my iPhone. I've got no top gadgets or anything. On my iPhone, on my daughter's tripod, I got her for the birthday, which is brilliant from BM on her fiber. <laughs> and then that's too big. I'm gonna have to just cut a mill off each end of that. Sorry, not long. Just got my cut out on the bottom of the table. And then this is going to go. But Just got away with that. Right then. Set Fred, there we go. Pop that on there. Like so, I'm going to stamp just a little, get a bit of interest. I'm going to stamp another little cup because they're so cute, just in the corner there. trying to do it backwards but never mind now when you put your score type on this just leave a little edge around because I think it's going to leave a bit of a border that's what I wanted yeah so I'll just fold it back out don't go right to the edge like so oh I did that position, leave a little border all the way around, like so, and then there you have it, your little easel card, stands up, so cute, and then you've got the little cup inside, folds flat, the envelope, and there we go. I hope you like it, my first ever video. <laughs> um, thank you for watching and if you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.